Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we're going to take a look at getting Home Assistant installed on the Home Assistant Yellow the easy way. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week. While you're at it, if you like what I do here and you want to help to support the channel, there's affiliate links in the video description to a bunch of home automation gadgets I've reviewed in the past and other ways to support the channel, like my Buy Me A Coffee link. Those affiliate links and Buy Me A Coffee link are also on my website, hivemindautomation.com.au. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. So in a previous video, I went through how to install an operating system onto EMMC storage on a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. It was a fairly complicated process and not for the faint-hearted. Embarrassingly, however, it turns out that the Nabucasa developers thought of everything and provide a much, much easier method of getting Home Assistant installed onto the CM4 that you install in your Home Assistant Yellow. So let's take a look at that. I've got this 16 gigabyte USB stick here. It's a good quality one and conveniently for my purposes, it has both a USB type C and USB type A connection on there. So I won't need an adapter to use it with my Mac that only has USB type C. I'm going to plug the USB key into my Mac over here using the USB C end. Uh, and we see that it's coming up on the computer. Uh, it's showing us install Mac OS Ventura because this is an old uh, USB installer for the Mac operating system. Now that we've got that mounted, I'm going to open up the Raspberry Pi imager. And I'm going to click on choose OS. And I'm going to scroll through here and select an other specific purpose OS home assistance and home automation and then in home assistant here i'm going to scroll down to the bottom and we see we've got this home assistant os installer for yellow uh, it's online and it's a 0, 0.0 gig download uh, i think that's probably a little bit larger than 0, 0.0 gig uh, but i'll select that so we've home assistant os installer for yellow and we'll choose storage and i'm choosing this sandisk ultra usb 3 which is a 16 gig stick and I'm going to click on write. Uh, it's going to uh, tell us that all existing data is going to be erased. Yes, I'll continue. It's going to ask me for my password uh, and it's now going to start the download, write the installer to the USB key uh, and then verify and finalize. And it says home assistant OS installer for yellow has been written to the SanDisk Ultra USB 3 media. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. So I will remove the USB key because it's not an SD card uh, and flip it over to the USB type A port. Uh, and I'm going to plug that into uh, one of the USB ports on the back of my Home Assistant yellow here. Now I've installed a fresh compute module 4 in here it's never been imaged with any operating system at all uh, so it should uh, not have anything on there at all uh, and so with the usb key inserted here i should now be able to plug the power over ethernet cable in here and we're going to uh, while this is booting watch the leds here so uh, I'll plug this in, uh, my cable's upside down, so I'll plug this in and we've got the red and green LEDs and what we should get in a moment is a heartbeat LED on the yellow there. So it's uh, flashing pretty rapidly on the green there. So we've got that heartbeat LED flashing on the yellow there. Uh, and once it's finished booting from the USB key, it, we should get a stable 
yellow LED there for a moment. And at that point, uh, if we were forcing the install onto the NVMe storage in here, we would need to press the blue button on the back here, but we're not doing that. We don't have NVMe storage in here. It's also worth mentioning here that if our Raspberry Pi compute module does not have any EMMC storage built into it, this process will just automatically try to install to the NVMe storage that is in the Home Assistant yellow. So if you've got no EMMC, uh, it needs to have NVMe. So this now, while it's, it was solid there, we would have needed to press the blue button to force it to the NVMe. And now it's just flashing steadily, which means it's installing the Home Assistant software onto the EMMC storage. So this is going to take a couple of minutes to finish this installation. And when it's done, we'll only have the red LED on. Three minutes later. Okay, so uh, the yellow LED stopped flashing and the green LED just stopped flashing. And now we've only got the red LED on and it's on in a steady state, which means that the installation has finished. So what we should be able to do now is unplug the USB key from the back of the Home Assistant yellow. And I will also unplug the power over ethernet from there. And uh, I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds and then we'll plug that back in and it should start powering back up. So again, I'm just gonna wait a moment for that to boot up. And uh, over here on my computer, I've got LandScan running uh, with a filter of home and I'm just running LandScan periodically to see uh, if we get something show up different from what we've already got. So 170 was the other Raspberry Pi. I wanna see if we get a different IP. Okay, so we've got uh, 192.168.1.73 homeassistant.local and it's a different uh, MAC address than the other ones. So that actually tells me something really helpful about the Raspberry Pi compute module that's inside the Home Assistant yellow here. And that is that the MAC address is individual to the compute module, not necessarily the ethernet interface that's built into the home assistant yellow here uh, or the indeed the raspberry pi cm4 board uh, so i have uh, copied the ip address and i'll pop over to our microsoft edge here and i'll just go to 192.168.1.73 and we're going to port uh, 8123 and we've got preparing home assistant and this can take up to 20 minutes. So that's the very easy way of installing home assistant onto the CM4 in your home assistant yellow. Hopefully you can see how much simpler it is than the direct AMMC method that I demonstrated in the previous video. Because we don't need to use the uh, CM4 IO board, it means that there's no extra accessories required except for a USB key. And these are pretty ubiquitous. It also seemed to be a pretty small install, so it wouldn't even need to be a large USB key. This also has the benefit of being able to push the image to an NVMe drive instead of EMMC. If you are installing NVMe in your Home Assistant Yellow, uh, and it's also completely platform agnostic, so it doesn't matter whether you're doing this on Windows, Mac or Linux, the process is the same. That said, the obvious benefit of the direct EMMC method is that it allows you to install any operating system onto the EMMC storage of your Raspberry Pi compute module. It doesn't have to be Home Assistant, but for the purposes of using the Home Assistant Yellow, you would need to have Home Assistant for the Home Assistant Yellow. Otherwise, it's not going to recognize uh, the additional hardware uh, that is in here like the red and zigbee radios uh, and possibly some of the other bits and pieces that are there or the, the configuration of the device that is all we have for this video and i do hope that it helped you out in your home automation journey 
Be sure to drop a comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video. And don't forget to follow Hive Mind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider changing that now. While you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification when I release a new video, and that's normally each week. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there's affiliate links in the video description below to purchase some of the gadgets that I've reviewed in the past. And there's some other ways that you can support the channel as well, like buying me a coffee with my buy me a coffee link. Contributions that you make through buy me a coffee get put towards making more and hopefully better content for you to enjoy. All of those affiliate links and the buy me a coffee link are also featured on my website, hivemindautomation.com.au. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.